uh, Ted Cruz is a fraud and he'll no longer have any influence in the Republican Party. Today's vote is definitely a signal that we have to take more realistic and uh, practical approaches that we can't be going off on these uh, false, false missions that people like Ted Cruz want us to go on. The issues are too important, they're too serious to require real solutions, not, not cheap uh, headline hunting uh, schemes. Ted Cruz and, and, and others like him have been writing checks uh, with their mouth that their votes can't cash. And, you know, I think now they have to put up or shut up. So for me personally, uh, I think that's one, th one message that I want to send back to the Senate, uh, that they can't continue this political rhetoric if they don't plan on backing it up. Uh, and the conservative Hill staffers, they're reportedly calling the senator from Texas, quote, an amateur. They're not the only people saying that. Uh, every House member I've also talked say to Nancy is Pelosi this. is more well liked around here. Also, Senators Mike Lee, Marco Rubio, and Cruz quote are like the kids in high school who would yell "fight, fight, fight," but have never thrown a punch in their entire life. And Congressman Sean Duffy took to Twitter, writing, "Senators Cruz and Lee refuse to fight and are waving the white." flag of surrender. From Senator Bob Corker, Corker, I didn't go to Harvard or Princeton, but I can count. Right, Senator Ooh. John Corn asks, how does this end? <laughs> Quote, we've actually made the job harder for the House Republicans. That's something I would hope we would try to avoid. From Congressman Cory Gardner, the Senate Republicans need to take care of gaining the Senate majority back and running their business. I understand their frustration because of their inability to win races. And Paul Ryan, it's pretty palpable in our conference, I would say, Ryan told Politico. You mean about how they're saying we're not going to fight and back at you, we're not going to fight, but forget about what we said earlier? Yeah, there's a bit of frustration. They're not off the record anymore. Everybody from Paul Ryan to Scott Walker to Charles Krauthammer, you name it, they're all out there saying there's a stupid idea, it never had a chance of passing, and it's just... It's not about conservatism, it's just about bad tactics. Problem is, though, that because he has attacked conservatives in the Senate, like Tom Coburn, because he has attacked conservatives in the House, nobody's going to stand with him, and they're going to shut down the proceedings, and they're not going to let him demagogue. And the, the level of resentment among conservatives uh, on Capitol Hill that have had these guys for three months run 30-second commercials in their district so they can raise money for their political organization and they can get mailing list names for possible presidential runs to then hold a press conference yesterday and go, you know what, it's not worth a government shutdown. And really, as Ted Cruz said, we never really thought this was going to work. We're going to need a couple more elections before we can do this. This is just a dumb tactic. And now Ted Cruz is attacking you. That's right. And, and, and so, Joe, all summer long, as these ads have been running, as they've been holding uh, uh, town halls and, and, uh, and raising money, uh, we've, at, we've kept a lid on uh, our anger in the House as we were the punching bag and bullied by some of these Senate conservatives. And so now with the CR vote that's going to come today, we are going to give them exactly what they've asked for, the opportunity to fight in the Senate on defunding Obamacare. And you saw us explode with anger publicly when they stood up and started waving the white flag saying, listen, we're not going to fight here. We're going to surrender. We can't win. So, Sean, actually, so Sean we're could you hot, explain? Hot potato back to the, back yeah. to the house and, and they're going to fight there. You should have been on the floor or back in the cloakroom. There was, I mean, there was so much anger, so much frustration because, again, we've been abused by these guys for so long. And uh, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I see happening now is people coming out and calling them out for the hypocrisy uh, of these big, tough conservatives who, uh, who, who know how to fight but will never get in the ring. Yeah, listen, can you, can, listen, can you, but, tell Joe, us, you know, can they, you they, tell can, us. they can hold a filibuster in the Senate if they want, but they can't hold the Senate conservatives together. Um, and that's, they keep trying to put this fight in the House. They can hold the Senate and have this fight as long as they want. But they're not willing to do it. Uh, but, Joe, I wish, you know, part of your shutdown caucus in the 90s, you had burned that playbook and you hadn't given it to Ted Cruz. <laughs> we would all be fine. Everybody has seen this coming on the conservative side. The Republicans have known. There is no way. What, what Harvard and Princeton grad Ted Cruz just figured out is we don't have 51 votes.
that if we shut the government down, we are not on the side of Americans. When Republicans run into the street, despite the fact that there's a flashing red light, they're going to get hit by the cars and killed. So this is stupid politically. This is stupid at a policy level because, as the great Charles Krauthammer said, it has no chance of succeeding. So they're going to fail. And now we are going to let our party run into moving traffic against the red light. I understand why John Bain is doing what he's doing tomorrow. He really has no choice. But again, it's going to come back to us sometime next week, and then we have a decision to make. And I'm saying we cannot let the government you know, shut down. Carl Rove, who wrote in the Wall Street Journal this today, he says the strategy that a lot of Republicans in the House want is also crazy. Any strategy to repeal, delay, or replace the law must have a credible chance of succeeding or affecting broad public opinion positively. The defunding strategy doesn't. Going down that road would strengthen the president while alienating independence. It is an ill-conceived tactic, and Republicans should reject it. We've had these conservatives in the Senate who have been throwing bombs at Peter King and I in the House asking for a defunding of Obamacare uh, uh, funding package. So what we're doing now is giving them the fight. Uh, Wolf, if, if the Senate sends us a package back that fully funds Obamacare because uh, Senate conservatives have failed in their mission to hold the Senate, then we're going to have a conversation about how we move forward. I'm not one who believes how we will you the government down. Happen? If anything good comes from all of this, when, when Ted Cruz and Rand Paul and Mike Lee fail in the Senate next week, maybe finally we Republicans will have ended their influence. It's, we as House Republicans should stop letting Ted Cruz set our agenda for us. He should stay in the Senate. He should keep quiet. And if he can deliver on this, fine. If he can't, then he should keep quiet from now on. It's you about worried about reasonable. the political fallout, though. John McCain, a member of your own party, says this is going to damage Republicans. Well, I think I think when when you have Senator Cruz and others constantly going out there on every show imaginable and running ads that we're that we can defund Obamacare, I think that hurts the Republican Party. And I think this is an opportunity to maybe start putting an end to that. GOP Senator Bob Corker calls it quote a tactic that will fail and weaken our position. Senator Richard Burr said it was one of the dumbest ideas I've ever heard of. Congressman Tom Cole calls it a temper tantrum. Republican leadership, uh, Speaker Boehner and the others, well know it's not going to happen. You must know it's not going to happen. You must know the Senate wouldn't go along with it. But you still want to do it. And I, I'm saying to you, I, I just think it's destructive to your cause. No, I don't see, know why you don't understand me. The Senate this, is the, not going to do it. It isn't. But going everybody to said do the House it. wasn't going to do it too, right. and now we're so bringing I, it to the floor I just want you on a record. Vote. You believe Amy Kramer believes that the Senate of the United States, as it is comprised today, would vote to defund Obamacare. You believe that, Mr. Blegman? You weigh in on question. Do you believe that the Senate can be convinced, as Ms. Kramer does, to defund Obamacare? No, and here's why, Bill. I deal with things not as I wish them to be, but as they are. And you correctly point out, yes, the Republicans control the House, and they can vote 80 times to defund Obamacare. The Senate will stop them. And do you think the president is going to give up? Just wave the white flag on his signature no, he'd legislation? Veto, even if it did pass, Ms. Kramer, Absolutely he'd veto. Not. Right. So, you know, but we have to deal with the hand that we're dealt and not the hand that we wish we had, because we don't have it. Well, I don't know what I have to do or Karl Rove has to do or Brad Blakeman has to do to tell you not going to happen. It's not <laughs> going to happen. It's never going to happen. They can try to make it happen. The American people are getting wise now, Bill. 